Jessica and I'm here with Burb Girl and Burb Girl is here with Yoshi from Elite Model Management. And uh, how are you today? I'm doing great. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. So I was wondering, when did we start with the whole modeling? Um, I started spring of last year, so just over a year. Okay, so how did you, how did you get into it? Um, I started by going to a model search that National Holds in the um, it's every year, and I tried that out, it went really well, I can set it up, so I got to do the classes, and then, yeah, so then, um, so you're from Winnipeg? Yeah. So how do you like it in Toronto? Oh my gosh, so much busy, like the difference the difference is crazy, I love it. Um, yeah, Winnipeg is a small town, so it's kind of, <laughs> it's a big difference. So how did you cope with like all the people in the big city and the transit especially? Because I know I get confused sometimes. Um, you know, I actually adapted to taking the subway and the streetcars pretty well actually. I was surprised that it wasn't actually as crowded as I thought it would be to figure it out. So I was glad I was able to do that. But now it's just kind of figure out where the world is and So do you have any like um, stories or any embarrassing stories? Um <laughs> I don't know, not really actually. I mean, it, there's funny stories. I mean, people don't realize what goes on backstage at fashion shows actually. It's hilarious. I did a show um, just a little while ago in Winnipeg with, for a fundraiser for the St. Paul's All Boys School that we did. And we were modeling with the boys who don't actually know anything about modeling. So they were quite surprised to see how much work actually goes into these shows and they were just shocked by us. Because we'd be just calm and calm, collected, whatnot, walking down the runway, and we run back there and we're just like, bam, close off. And they're like, whoa. <laughs> it was good times. <laughs> yeah, like I did my fashion show at my high school as well, and I know that was really exciting. Yeah. So, uh, do you have any things that you're really proud of or are you really happy with when you first started modeling? Yeah, I was proud of myself with the um, model search. You know, I did the best I could. And it took a lot of effort because we had to be at the agency almost every day for two weeks. So it was pretty stressful, you know, it was competitive, and, but we were still, like, I made mean, like, friends there. So it was really an experience, and I was really happy that I finally went into it because my mom wanted me to model since I was 12, and I didn't want to. <laughs> but, you know, and I finally did this, so I really want to. You didn't really want to model. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, why was that? Um, I guess it was just all the stuff you hear about models, you know? Yeah, it just it scared me I guess and I thought that you know like all models were like that so I thought I'd become like that that was a really stupid thought because no all models are definitely not like that so and I mean it's not hard to fight it it's just saying no, no. so uh, is this your first go see or have you gone to a lot of go see since you've been here yeah well I've gone to Monday so I've been to the five I think but I, they went well you know I was quite happy with so what normally goes on when you go to a go see? Okay. Really fast. <laughs> I didn't realize how quick they go by. Because honestly, when you're going, like I did one a go see for a Ritzia show. It was in a hotel room. You literally walk in, they ask you to walk across the room, they take one of your comp cards, and bye, and you leave. <laughs> That's about it, really. And you really can't tell if they're gonna like, if they like you or not. Yeah. They're just kind of emotional. So in modeling, you have to travel, and you go to all these places, um, this is actually my first Toronto, oh, so my big first trip. And yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I came here by myself. And it's exciting. And I'm really happy with it, and it's quite easy to get used to. So. And is there a place that you really want to go to tomorrow? Um, I definitely want to travel to Europe and do one there. Milan. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna take some work to get there, but um, hopefully my first stop will be like. Um, dancing. Dancing. I danced for 12 years up until now and I have to kind of drop my numbers because modeling takes up so much time. But yeah, I danced for 12 years of my life and I love it. Yeah, I'm a competitive dancer so I know how it's like a man. You have to always be at the studio. Do you have like a favorite type of dance that you did? Um, my favorite was jazz. Um, I did ballet the longest but I definitely love it. And do you have any um, aspirations for um, modeling? Like, what do you want to do in the future with it? Um, I just, I really like to be able to go far. I mean, being a model of color, it's more difficult to do 
right? It's like my goal for Europe. The reason why it's Europe is because it is harder for colored models to get in. Um, so I just kind of want to be that inspiration for other women of color that you really can go far and just push your dreams. And it's not hard to like fight these barriers. People don't really look at it that way anymore, but there are still hard situations out there like that. And you know, it's just good to be able to overcome that. And, just get and, I, heard and I heard that you like the sciences. Yes. <laughs> so are you going to university for sciences? Yeah, I'm starting at University of Manitoba. It's our biggest university in Manitoba. Yeah. And yeah, I'm taking first year university coming this fall and going to the Faculty of Science hopefully next year. So, wow. Yeah. Well, thank you for being at Verb Girl and for coming to talk with me. Um, and hopefully, to see you soon on yeah. all the magazines. And hopefully, <laughs> we'll get there. Yeah, hopefully, in Europe, like you said before. So, yeah. Yeah. thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me.